Hey guys, so the East 12, the missing six year old, the number one female, light brown hair, hazel eyes, about 40 pounds. Uh, seen in a pink tank top and navy blue shorts when she was put to bed. The plan is actually going to be the sister, and it looks like mom is en route. Well, that is fascinating. Isabel's mom was not there. Uh, we were told she woke up the morning of Isabel's disappearance and left for work at 7.30 in the morning for her job as a nurse. And then we were told the father went to wake up Isabel at 8 a.m. and she was gone. But in this audio tape, John Lieberman, uh, police are saying the complainant was the sister. Now, Isabel has no sisters, just brothers. If the father discovered his daughter missing... Uh, why is the father not the one who is the complainant meeting cops showing up at the scene? Well, and that's the key question. The first thing that stuck out to me when I listened to the tape was there was a huge, massive police response very quickly. The second thing, though, when I started examining it was just what you mentioned, which was that they say the complainant was a sister and mom was coming home. Now, we do know mom was apparently at work, so mom's coming home, but there's no mention of dad at all, and dad clearly was not the one who called 911. And add that to the fact that the parents and the extended family, nobody has been ruled out as suspects. They haven't been named suspects, but they haven't been ruled out either. And so we are starting to get a more fuller glimpse of what is going on here. Yeah, it's very strange to me. You'd think it'd be the, the dad, and there you're seeing some of the family members going in and out of the house as they were interviewed by law enforcement, taken back to the house and questioned by detectives. Um, let's get back to this new audio of the police scanner talk that we've obtained exclusively. Chatter from the first moments cops learned little Isabel had vanished. Listen to this. It's the first time anyone heard any details about the missing child. The missing child from 5602 East 12th, last seen yesterday at 2200 hours, Isabel Felice, number one female, four foot, brown hair, hazel eyes, born in 2005, had her hair in braids, last seen wearing a pink, take, pink top and navy shorts. Now the key there is that they said 2200 hours, that's military lingo meaning 10 p.m. OK, but after Isabel vanished, the media told us the child was put to sleep and last seen an hour later. Listen to this. The child was last seen as she went to bed at 11 o'clock Friday night and then at 8 o'clock Saturday morning is when they discovered her missing. OK, spell out the discrepancy uh, discrepancy there, John. Well, the key discrepancy is clearly the call came out. Whoever called into police this female who the dispatcher thought was the sister, but as you mentioned, there is no sister. So who is that female? But whoever that female was apparently told police, you heard it right there, that the last time the girl was seen was when she was put to bed at 10 o'clock at night. But then police came out and said 11 o'clock at night. So who is this mystery woman who police, who, who called into the dispatcher that you just heard? 